All right, we are going to take a quick look at how to process AFM height images in MATLAB and ImageJ. The task at hand is to count nanoscale features using the particle analyzing function in ImageJ. To do that, however, the images need to be flat, and in most cases AFM images are not. So in MATLAB we're going to convert the height features to a gradient map to remove many of the large scale features we don't want to count. So first we open this script and run the script. And basically what it does is to take the differential of all the height features and save those as these blue column apps in PNG. Now these figures we can then open in image J in a second and process further there. So let's take a look at that. Here are the files. They are saved in the same folder as the script and the data. And we're just going to move them to the image J folder. Here they are. And we're just going to take one of them uh, to show how it works for now. You can just drag and drop the image into ImageJ. Let's open them. First, we need to convert it to a 16-bit image in order to do the analysis. Then we use this feature to threshold the image. In other words, to select what kind of features do we want to convert into this uh, black and white image that we can then count cells in. So we get this nice histogram of the height, or the colors as it is for now, and we have to adjust it so that it fits the features we want to count. And I know that the features I want to count are around this uh, part of the histogram, but you can also just look over here and see when your features are selected. Don't worry about selecting too many red uh, things for now. We can sort those out later in the counting process. Let's just try and uh, just apply this. Now we then get a picture with the white features to be counted and on a black background. So we go to Analyze, Analyze Particles, and the software then asks us to input some parameters for the measurement. And you can tweak those to suit your data best. Here's the size of the features we count and then how circular they are. Where one is completely round and zero is a line, basically. So we say OK, and the software does some counting for us. And we see that we get um, counted features here and there and everywhere. Now it didn't count all the features that we intended to, so maybe we have to threshold differently or use different parameters in the counting. But anyway, we can then look at the results here, go to distribution, see how the sizes are distributed, and we can save all these things if we want to. Yep.